everybody, and it's me again for today's next presentation. Today we're going to talk about a short bow sound. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. You see, there are different kinds that we pronounce. O and O. Put, 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 wool, 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 wool. Stop in midair. Anyway, just kidding. Now, put like you have a speaker. You put it on the table. Or you have a speaker, you drop it onto the ground. That hurt. And the speaker breaks. Troll la la. Put. We put down something. Repeat after me. Put. Now you say it. While you say it, get some tape. Raise out your hand and put the thing down to your hand. Put, put, put. Your turn. Put. So that is put. Now what about the next word? What is the next word? It is pull. If you have a rope, you pull it, you pull it, you pull it, you pull it, you pull, 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 pull. Just keep pulling. Just keep pulling. Pull, pull, pull. Like if you're riding a horse, you have a, you have a line or maybe a rope. You pull back the rope to say stop. And then the horse will look down at the rope. When you move the rope to the right, the horse will know where to turn. Turn right. If you turn left, the horse will know where to turn. Turn left. If the driver t took off the lasso, then the horse will put the lasso up until it reaches the mouth of the horse. The horse know that means move back. Pull means stop. So, you see, repeat after me. Pull. 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 Now your turn. Pull. Do the action. Pull it. Pull your rope. Pull and pull. Pull, pull, pull. The other thing pulls. You pull, the other thing pulls. It pulls and pulls. So repeat after me. Use a pen and pretend to pull. Pull, pull, pull. Now, let's continue. Pull. Now, could, could. Could. With 
this could mean? Like, I could play ball. Like this. I could play ball. Playing with the ball. Like this. That's called play with the ball. I could play ball. Like this, you play with the ball. Maybe some tennis ball on court. So maybe you have a tennis ball court full of folks. Then that will be a great time tennis. Real good. Pop could. 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 So far, we have learned as much words. So now let's have a five second break. So now it is five seconds already and now let's move on with the next four words. We've learned a bunch of words. Get out your I can read book and be ready. Now, first word, the first word after a break is book, book, book. Have you heard the word, I can read a book? Well, it is a book of I can read. It is from I can read, okay? Come, do something. Just like, do some, do something good. Now you could say, that we have seen that the, the, the word book means a book. Like this, you are reading a book. This is like story, story. This is another story. Could you see the stories? Some stories are like books. Here you could see, could you read it? There, you go see, that's what book means. I'll close the book, and now let's move on with the word wool. 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 Now, what is wool? Wool is a type of fur that comes from a sheep. Wool is white. The color white. Could you ever see a sheep that has black wool? Well, the color of the wool refers to the color of the sheep. If there's a white sheep, then it's then the color of its wool will be white. If there's a black sheep, then the color of its wool will be black. But, you know, why do we have orange sweaters? Well, sometimes people paint sheep to look like the color of the sweater they wanted. Then they will make the color to look just like the sweater, the color of the sweater they want. Then they make the color into the sweater. Be very careful letting the paint to dry so the paint will not spill. Or another type of thing they might use is like the lines. They knit together a wool sweater, just like that. They use some wool, they knit it together, they paint it, or maybe put it inside some food coloring and all that. But still, that's just a basic fact. We can have tons of I can read books. We have like free reading level one, free reading level two, and I can read level three. This is level one, learning about short vowel sounds, A, E, I, O, U, and U. That is reading level one. We could still have level two, level three, but level two and level three, just like I left it. Hmm. No matter what. Now, let's move on with the next one. Looked. 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 
You look around, spin around, spin around. You look in every direction. Look, 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 look. look. You look all around pretty fast. And then you feel dizzy. Because if you feel dizzy, it looks like the ground is shaking. You won't be able to think that, may, that maybe if you spin, then your house will spin too. It looks like it's tilted. Or maybe if you spin, the earth spins. So let's look like you're like this and the house tilted a little bit like this. No. Now shook, shook, shook. Try getting a book. Then move it up and down. You are shaking the book. Shook is another word for shake. It is the past, it's the simple past tense of shake. Shake, go back in the past, shook. So that's what shake and shook means. Now let's move on with bush, 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 bush. What does bush mean? Well, a bush is a big piece of, um, like it's a big piece of leaves. They're like leaves. If you try to paint a bush and like, this is a bush, a red bush. This is called a red rose bush. The red rose bush has spikes, spikes that prickle you. This is actually just a red, a red towel that I uh, just like, I just pretended it was a red rose bush. Now a bush is basically a ton of leaves laid together to look like a half circle. Bush. Repeat well, after me. Bush, 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 bush. A bush is like a type of plant that grows in your garden. Woof, woof, woof. You might not understand what woof means. Woof is basically the bark of a dog. Woof, 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 woof. It's like that. That's what woof means. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Woof. Repeat after me. Get a towel. So lap it out to the chair. Woof, woof, woof. Your turn. Now you say it without me using my mouth like this. You say it. If you can underestimate the speed, you could just go into settings of YouTube and press it maybe to 7.5. Then it will be pretty slow. Then you will be able to say it. Woof. 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 So now, let's move on with Push. Push. Push something like this. Push. 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 You can use your feet to push. You push it with your feet. Just like that. That's called push, 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 push again, push. It's all it meant. Now repeat after me. Throw something whenever you say. Push, push, push. Now you say it.
That's what push means. Now, wooden. Wooden. Have you ever had something made of wood in your house? Well, you might have a ton. Like paper. Paper is made from wood. Paper is wood that is let out to dry in the hot, burning sun to make it look white. The wood is now put it into a hot pan, which makes it flattened. Then the people set it to one degree and then turn it off after one minute. Then they use a spatula, then they place it into the dirt. Then the paper freezes and then they let it in the hot sun for about two minutes or maybe five. Then we have this soft paper that we use every day. Now, good, 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 good means good. You're a good boy if you help your mom. That's what good means. Repeat after me, good. Thumbs up when you say good. Good, good, good. Now you say it. Now that we finished the word good, let's use the other words hook, steal, ball, look, hold, hook, shouted, took, crook, foot, cook, and woman to make some easy sentences. How about the word huff? Hook, hook. The bull, wolf, the, the, just like the bull. The bull walked with its hooves, or oh, uh, the bull crooked its leg. The bull huh, was hooked and stood on the wooden fence. The bull we took the bull to the fence. The woman and uh, and Fran chased away the bull. The woman is cooking a delicious lunch. The bull has a big hoof. Those are some sentences about today's lesson. In today's lesson, we basically learned about the short vowel sound. Oh, oh, in the pre reading level one, we'll learn about a young learner studying letter three journey develops in its phonological awareness, effective lifelong learning habits and social skills. That means we're learning about the short vowel sounds. Name, whatever you do, write your name on your book. Actually, my name is up here, not here. So now, you see, when you look at the hub, at the wall, at the wall, at the put, you can see those words, but they have similarity. Well, they have uh, wall. Book, bush, good, bull, hook, took, foot, and woman. Those have similarity. It's a pull, look, push, stood, and pulled have also have a similarity. Uh, and could, jerk, and would also have the similarity. Uh. So today we learned about the short vowel sound. Uh. If you like this video, Make sure to like and subscribe me more at studying about short vowel sounds and maybe long vowel sounds with Tommy. So, see you. And make sure to subscribe.